Hey guys, Danish Kasamali back again. This time, rocking something fresh on my head. I'm gonna show you just how to sublimate these head ties. And you might be wondering, well, who the heck wears those? Well, in the NBA, they're getting very popular. You guys know how it is. Once they make something cool, everybody's rocking it. So, are you ready for a tutorial? Let's get into it. Alright guys, so for this tutorial, I'm going to need my blank head tie. We supply these on SilkySocks.com, so it's actually 37 inches long and 2 and a half inches tall. So my recommended print size, there's basically two ways to print these. You can do a partial print where you print just like a logo up in the front area. And so our template or our recommended size for that is about 8 inches wide and two inches tall. So with the two inches height, that means you'll leave a quarter inch on the top and bottom with a max, uh, I go max two inches to leave that space. And then if you're gonna sublimate the whole thing, which is possible also, we have a 40 inch width print size and a three and a half. That way you have some bleed area on the top, you'll have a half inch on top and bottom and an inch and a half on the sides. So to sublimate the entire thing, you need a bigger, uh, you need a bigger heat press, but to do partials, I'm going to show you a demo on this 16 by 20 heat press. Are you ready? Cool. Besides the, besides the headband, I mean besides the blank, I've got my transfer sheet here. I'm going to cut that one sheet out. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm going to take my blank headband and kind of drape it over the heat press, centered. Um, I'm gonna let it hang with an even, even uh, kind of hang on both sides. So then I can, I know that the center is just right here on the center of the press. And notice I'm not spraying anything, I'm not taping anything, I'm not pre-pressing anything. I've got my heat press set at 400 degrees and just 20 seconds in this case because uh, this item is very silky smooth and easy to sublimate. So, and since I'm doing a white background with text on it, I don't need too much time on this guy. So, I'll place it here, right in the center, push it in, and voila. All right, 20 seconds are up, let's see how it came out. There it is guys. Can't guard me on the headband. Nice and smooth. Bam. Just put it over there. Tie it like so. And you're lit. I'm wearing two. See that? Feel is really good. Really smooth. And of course the print won't wash out or fade because it's dye sublimated in there really nicely. This material is an 88% uh, polyester, I'm sorry, 84% polyester and 16% spandex. It's got a tear away tag, so our silky tag right here just simply tears away so you can, you know, have your own branding on it. I printed a silky logo right here on my sublimation, but you can uh, do the same for yours. So we did this custom for Team Skywalker. What's cool is these headbands, you can actually print uh, reversible. What I mean by that is, let's say your client right here has a home and an away logo, right? You could actually use the other side and print the away logo. So, you know what I mean? Imagine how happy they're gonna be as, as your customer. You took their two main logos, you printed one on this side and one on this side. Now when they wear it, they can wear their home or their away logo or let's say they have two different main logos or phrases or color schemes for their logo you see where I'm going with it so it's a really cool item really stretchy really uh, what I call silky smooth so Deadspin did an article about how cool these ninja headbands are and they showed a bunch of NBA players wearing them and they called it the next best thing in headwear so 
or I think that's how they phrased it. But anyway, I'm going to leave the, the link of the article in this description. I want you guys to check that out if uh, you're trying to learn more about this product and why it's a cool item. I guarantee in about a year or, or so, this is going to be one of the hottest things worn in sports. Uh, so you definitely want to jump on this. The blanks are available on Silky's blank section. And next I'm going to show you an example of one that we did that was fully sublimated. So we used our, our uh, wide format machine for this to get the all over print. But what I want to show you specifically, so you see how the seams here, that has stitching. But the sublimation went over the stitching amazing. See that? almost looks like a cut and sew piece. There's no defects there, it's just super smooth, super super clean. And then you can do the other side as well and it'll literally look like an all over sublimation that you maybe like printed on fabric and sewed it together, but it's not. So, love that item. Alright guys, that's it. That completes the Silky tutorial. Pretty short one for these headbands because it's so easy to make. But I appreciate you guys for following our journey. If you, if you found value, please do subscribe. It helps us a lot and encourages us to get on the next videos. Our next milestone is 1,000 subs and I can't wait to bring you guys more content. Until then, I'm Danish Kasamali with Silky Socks and I'm out. Thank you.